will say, Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our meditational satsang. Uh, let's see, do we have any newcomers tonight? Let's see, anybody new? Anybody new? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're all oldies, but goodies here. <laughs> Oh, Melissa, you are new. Okay, well, welcome, Melissa. It's wonderful to have you here this evening. I'll give you a little bit of a rundown and everybody a rundown as to how all of this works for the evening. Uh, first and foremost, this is a sacred and safe space. And so anything that you share within it is held in the utmost unconditional love and free from judgment. And so you can feel free to open and share whatever you feel called to share. And again, know that it's held in that safe and comfortable uh, space and sacred space that we have here. And the way the evening works is, and uh, welcome to our new guest who's uh, just arriving, it seems, or maybe one who left the room. Okay, entered and left the room, so I guess we've got a new one coming in flux. Um, the way the evening works is, for the first part, uh, I will channel what's coming through from Source, Spirit, God, Master, Artist, whatever you choose to call it, the Tao, uh, on the particular topic uh, of discussion, and then we will slip into a meditation from there. And then after that, we will uh, come back from the meditation and we will open it up to uh, the satsang discussion port of the evening in which you can feel free to share anything that happened uh, in your experience or uh, any spiritual questions you may have or uh, anything of that nature. And uh, yes, thank you for uh, the gift uh, indeed of being here, all of you. And uh, so this evening, we are talking about vote for love and vote for peace. And I know all of you out there in the States um, are experiencing your uh, elections right now. And uh, so this was perfect timing. Um, I was discussing with someone uh, about uh, this uh, last evening when I was over at a friend's place. Um, and just to share a little bit with you that ties into this, uh, and Fred knows this because he was part of uh, my uh, evening uh, on Saturday evening. So uh, we uh, had a discussion uh, about uh, what happened for me this past weekend, which ties into this whole vote for love, vote for peace, and your elections and all of that. And uh, this past weekend, I had the opportunity to participate in something uh, very sacred, uh, as well as uh, from a space of fear. <laughs> <laughs> so I got both sides of the coin uh, in this. Um, I was uh, blessed with the opportunity by a dear friend here who lives locally who invited me to participate in uh, the Tao ceremony in which I was blessed and given with the Tao. And uh, as we discussed before we started the evening here a little bit, uh, receiving the Tao is uh, in, in some ways very similar to a Diksha blessing. Diksha blessing is of Eastern philosophy, so is receiving the Tao. It's uh, Eastern ancient Chinese ph philosophy. However, there was a bit of mix of, and Fred says namaste, thank you. Usually I don't read the chat, I just happen to, you know, pop in with that. But, uh, uh, Usually, um, namaste to you too as well. Usually, when receiving uh, the Tao in this sacred ceremony, it's um, meant to be, again, very sacred. Um, however, what was happening with the uh, whole thing was there was a mixture. It was a very beautiful ceremony, and uh, the gift that I received within it uh, has opened up a huge pathway for me uh, in really solidifying my process of um, for me personally, of what began for me 14 years ago and then started to culminate 12 years ago for me in stepping into being the princess who I am. However, the fear that came within it and kind of ties in with the whole, uh, you know, voting for love and the elections and all of that that you're experiencing there in the States is um, after the ceremony, there was a bit of an educational talk that was given. And basically, um, through the ceremony, there were some ancient things that were passed on uh, in this ceremony, and they basically said that we were not allowed to write this stuff down, that we were supposed to just resonate this within our heart, um, that it's something very sacred. Now, I understand that it's very, something very sacred. However, what they were doing was they were encapsulating it in a sense of fear. Um, in fact, I, for my own benefit, was attempting to remember some things, and so I was phonetically 
actually spelling out some stuff in some notes when we were allowed to write some things down. And I basically, there was a woman who was sitting next to me who jumped into fear and basically, uh, m- much like a two-year-old or, or, you know, a little child, uh, ended up going to the uh, people who were conducting the ceremony and basically what I call tattletailing on me for supposedly writing this stuff because you're not supposed to do that. And it's supposed to be secret and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And it was really something I was uh, free from really resonating with in, uh, in that sense of the indoctrination because what it is, 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 and I understand they're attempting to keep it sacred, However, it reminded me very much of uh, when Reiki was first brought in to the to the uh, masses, how it was passed down in lineage uh, and kept this secret. And it's kept in a secret of fear, yet the master who actually gave us all the Tao that, that day uh, specifically said to us that, you know, everyone on this earth is supposed to receive it. So if everyone's supposed to receive it, why do we need to keep things in secret? Why do we need to keep things in fear? You know, keeping things in secret and hidden like that is a sense of fear. And so in tying in with that, having to do with um, voting for love and voting for peace, with the elections, um, once you understand what's really behind the election and the election process um, and what's really going on, you will understand that really it matters not whether you vote or not. Because as much as we would like to believe in the illusion that we supposedly have a say, whether it's here in Canada or there in the States or whatever, um, the truth of the matter is whoever's going to come into office is going to come into office and the agenda has already been set. And the people who are supposed to be in place are in place and were in place long before any election. And it's kind of like just a little pawn game that goes on to give the illusion that we, the people, somehow have power. In the governmental systems that are around the globe right now, we, we, the people only have the power when we band together and we step outside of the system and vote for love and vote for peace rather than fear. Um, <clears throat> so when we're when we're voting for love, what that mean? What does that mean? That means that we step outside of the system. You know, many of you, I'm sure, have been watching the election coverage. I don't you know, get it here, and even if I did, I wouldn't be watching it, Um, (laughs) simply because it's all based in drama, it's all based in fear, it's all based in, to, um, you know, bring you into that space of anxiety, in fact, just before I came on here this evening with you all, uh, I was mentoring a gentleman who, uh, you know, was uh, coming to me with that, saying, you know, our country is so polarized, meaning you there in the States, and, and, you know, the whole thing about the elections, and he was all right upset about it and whatever and I know a couple of you are feeling that tension right now as well and expressed such before we began this evening it's all a matter of um, indoctrination to get you into a space of high anxiety and voting for love and voting for peace is actually the opposite effect okay we do understand that all of it is part of this game and we do understand that it's all love However, at the same moment, it's what are you choosing to focus on? There's uh, an analogy out there, and I'll paraphrase it. I believe it's a Cherokee um, uh, story in which uh, it's a boy with his grandfather who speaks about uh, the two different wolves that are within and one is fear and one is love and the gra- the grandson says to the grandfather well which one wins and the the sage basically the grandfather says the one you feed so which one are you going to feed are you going to choose to feed love or are you going to choose to feed fear are you going to choose to feed you know a system that is no longer working that no matter if you vote or not it's not going to change anything or are you going to embrace love so within that, we're going to cast our votes for love and peace this evening, and we're going to go in and put in as many votes as we so choose. <laughs> okay, so within that, I'm going to invite you all to simply close your eyes and get comfortable. Make sure that you are, you know, in a relaxed position, whatever feels comfortable for you. And just simply just uh, relax (laughs) take a nice deep slow deep breath in 
and fill your lungs with the beauty essence of love and light and as you release release and let go of all of the cares and worries and just focus on another deep breath in filling your air the lungs of life the essence of love of who you are and as you release out just see a pink light coming out of your mouth and releasing that essence the pink light of unconditional love And as you just continue to relax deeper and deeper, just breathing in the essence, feel a white light emerge in your solar plexus and just feel it grow and expand and feel it feeling warm and tingly and just relaxing you and on your next deep breath in you're gonna feel this white light move down into your sacral chakra and your base chakra and down into your legs and as it's moving it's warming you, warming you and having a glow of love and just relaxing deeper and deeper. And as the light reaches your toes now, you can feel it warming your toes, kissing the essence of your toes, this light of love. and feel it come back up around in a circle around your aura until it reaches the top and as it floats into your crown chakra now feel it soothing your eyes and your forehead as you relax deeper and deeper this warm glowing light coming down into your face relaxing your muscles down into your throat warming the sensation of your throat and soothing you like a cup of hot chocolate going down and feel this warmth within your arms as your arms go heavier and relax you into deeper and deeper relaxation Feel this white light now rest inside your heart chakra. And feel its warm glowing essence just bathing you in peace. And as you're bathing in this peace, just relax. Feel the calmness, the essence of who you are, which is love. And before you, you will see a curtain. This curtain is of a purple velvet, and there's shimmering stars on this curtain. See how pretty it is and gaze upon it. 
This is your magic curtain. And when you pull this curtain back in a moment, it's the place where you can create anything you desire. So pull back this curtain and envision a beautifully lit room with candles. Very warm and relaxing, calm and peaceful. And there's a chair sitting there. Choose which color that chair will be, what it looks like. See this chair very clearly. And also see a writing desk before you in front of this chair. And on it, there's a scroll an ancient scroll as well as a quill and see yourself coming over to this chair and sitting down and opening this scroll and this quill has magic ink Whatever you write upon the scroll, it shall manifest. Choose what dream you have, however big it is. Be free from judging it. Just simply bring the dream to mind and see yourself writing this dream out or sketching this dream out onto your scroll however you choose to create it let the quill guide you in painting or writing your creation of your dream however big it is Just let it flow. And as this is coming through, know that this is your special dream, your dream of love your dream of peace. Whatever that dream is, it is for your benefit and the benefit of for all. Write it out and sketch it out in detail. Every last thing about it what it smells like, what it sounds like, what it feels like, who's there with you. Create this vision for your life now. As you're creating this vision, notice at the bottom of the scroll there's two little boxes. They just seem to appear on the scroll as if it were magic. One of them says, vote for love, and the other says, vote for peace. Take your magic quill and check the yes. 
saying yes for love and yes for peace. And as many times as you feel called to do that, say yes. Say yes to your dream. Say yes to love. Opening yourself to the infinite possibilities that are before you. Letting go of anything that stands in your way from that. Simply being that love. Being real. Being raw. Sending the blessing of the ancient key within your heart, of that warm light that you still feel in your heart chakra. See that warm light come out from your heart chakra now and infuse itself onto the scroll. Infusing and sealing your dream and you're continuing to vote for love and peace. Maybe you see a seal being placed upon your scroll. See this seal of approval from source being placed upon your scroll now. As God is saying yes to you, your dream, your vision is now given. It is here now. Feel what that feels like to know that you voted for love, that you vote for love in each moment. How peaceful that feels. And start to see others who have just placed their votes on their scrolls now coming to sit around you with their scrolls in hand. All of those yeses, yes to love, and yes for love, yes for each dream, knowing that vision is now. And imagine now that you rise from your chair all the beings who are with you rise from theirs and simply hug one another, holding one another in this space of love and seeing those votes and those dreams being cast into the winds, the winds of change. Cast your scroll into the wind now. All the scrolls being cast into the wind, the wind of change. And blow it, sending it on its way, knowing that it already is. And say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Source. And rejoicing and hugging those ones in the happiness and joy and peace 
as you watch all the scrolls glide in the winds. Gliding in the winds. And before your feet as the winds are blowing, notice that there are some leaves at your feet. Last of the leaves of fall. There's a few left on the trees around you. But there's a whole pile of leaves before you and all your friends. Pick one of those leaves up. See what the message is within that leaf that God wishes to give you in this moment. What does the Master Artist have to say to you in this leaf? Perhaps it's related to your dream, your vision you just created. Perhaps it's another message entirely. Just allow whatever message that is written upon a leaf to be given to you now. Be with that message and accept that message in gratitude and appreciation. And simply release that leaf now and let it go into the winds. to float away, being carried by the winds, and as you see the leaves fall from the trees, reach up and grab one that's floating down, effortlessly and easily. You just reach up and you grab it out of the air as it's floating down. And as you look at this leaf, there is an ancient blessing on it. Perhaps it's in writing or language you do not know. Perhaps you can translate it with your inner knowing. Just feel the essence of that ancient blessing. Shikna yanaha mushtamiya ilekibuya istekile tekirile telare. Allow the essence of that ancient blessing on your leaf and the one just given to resonate in your heart in the peaceful stillness.
release that leaf as well. Let it go into the winds of change. And as you let it go and watch it float in the wind, Listen for the song, the song of your heart. As you walk towards a tree, it's a very big tree, very tall ancient tree. And there appears to be a door within this tree. yourself walk through this doorway, listening to the song of your heart, the melody within, in your inner knowing. And as you come into the inside of this tree, feel the innerness of Mother Earth deeping the roots, for you are deeping the root of this tree. You are in the womb of your inner being, of your inner heart, of your deepest heart. And listen to that song, that song of love, that song of peace what it's saying to you in this moment. Perhaps it's an actual song. Perhaps it's just an inner knowing. Perhaps it's just words. Allow whatever your song being sung to you is in this moment to be felt and known and heard. For we are going now towards the end of fall, starting to come into the winter. Going deep within, deep in the heart of love, and just rest in that heart song for a few moments. When you are ready, thank Princess Gaia, Mother Gaia, for the beautiful gift of her heartbeat and the heartbeat of the song of your heart. Embrace her, this tree, hugging her from the inside out. Thank her. Thank her essence for the gifts she's given you. And see yourself now slowly walking out of the tree and into the light. And this light will bring you back home 
to where you start feeling your toes and your legs and perhaps start to take a breath start coming back more fully into the room as you are ready start feeling the chair that you're sitting in or the place that you are sitting or laying start feeling yourself more here waking up now starting to come back more fully feeling your arms and your hands and ah, just feeling totally peaceful and waking up coming back here with us into the room hmm. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. Douglas says, very nice. We are now in the satsang portion discussion of the evening, which I will read what's in the chat here. Uh, so on the recording here, it will also be. Uh, Lady Di says, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Melissa says, lovely, wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed such, Melissa. Lady Di said, thank you. You're very welcome, love. You're very welcome. May this bring you into a space of peace now and uh, calmness so that you can relax the rest of this evening. <laughs> and be in a space of centeredness. Does anybody have anything they would like to share? Rian says, this reminded me of a music video, Great Spirit Medicine for the People. Oh, very nice. Light says, uh, very peaceful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Fred says, great connection. Thanks. You're very welcome. There is a tree in it. You've got to see it. Yeah, I guess I will have to see it. Uh, I have not seen that one. Um, I get uh, many emails every day about different meditations, so I haven't uh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, you go inside, Rian says. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Wonderful. Uh, David says, "What is uh, what 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 it a rubber band man tree? Oh, ha ha." <laughs> Sorry, it took me a minute to read that. I was just like, woo, <laughs> coming back a little bit myself, I guess. Well, <laughs> what was it? Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, very nice. Uh, perfect for where I am presently, Melissa said. Oh, fantastic. I'm very glad to hear that. That's awesome. Glad to know that that, uh, that uh, helped you in uh, where you are at, at the moment. That's wonderful. Very happy to hear that. So you had a rubber band man tree, eh? Uh, yes, please post it later on uh, our Ascension Rian. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yes, uh, so that way I can, I can see that uh, meditation that you were talking about. Uh, I would like to uh, sit in that. Uh, I can make that my uh, later in the evening meditation before I uh, crash. Uh, Douglas said, thank you, Nanari. Good night. L uh, love and light to all of you. Okay, wonderful to have you with us, Douglas. Good night. But, uh, yeah, that way I can use that uh, meditation as my evening meditation uh, before I crash for the evening. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Melissa said, love and radiance all. Indeed, very much so. Lady Di says, um, I saw very clearly visions this time. I have not seen them this clear in a long time. Don't know what they mean. Very good. Wow, that's awesome. That means your uh, your third eye, your soul eye is opening up. That's wonderful. Very happy to hear that. That that's awesome. That means you're you're shifting uh, you know, in resonance. That's that's wonderful to hear. Um what they all mean it's okay if you do not know um you know if you want to share we can you know uh, go through it or if you feel that uh, it will come to you later as to what they all mean then you know it will come 
you know, when it's meant to. Uh, Rian says, late, yay, die, definitely, nods, nods. Uh, David said, glad to hear everyone is coming together right now. Cool. Yes, absolutely. This is, this is definitely a time for us to come together. Um, it's, uh, it's uh, now definitely the time, co-creation and cooperation and, co- and coming together and being together, you know, in, it's no more the lone wolf, you know, it's, it's about co-creation. Uh, Lady Dice says, well, I will try bits of it. Uh, you had a tunnel, okay. Obama was in it, walking away, but was walking backwards. Then he walked back and spun around. And this time he walked to us backwards. Ah, very interesting. Okay, do you have any idea what you think this means, perhaps? And then he turned around. And uh, he had white hair. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, I can see that. Um, I can tell you what's coming through from uh, the master artist on this. Uh, the turning around and being in the tunnel, uh, all of that, He's go- he himself, chills already, yes, uh, Lady Di says, he himself is going through a turn of the ages in which the wise wisdom is coming through. And so that's for him personally, but it's also representation of you. You are coming into your wise woman, the crone medicine, the crone energy. Um, and so this is about you turning around as well. He represents uh, the divine masculine within you. So you are uh, going through your divine masculine turnaround and coming into the crone or the ancient medicine. Um, and so walking backwards, it's almost as if you are uh, going to be walking backwards back into some things in a different way. In other words, you'll see it with the eyes of the crone woman. Um, so it's uh, it's an invitation for you to step into the crone woman essence, the crone medicine, okay, because that's what you're uh, coming into now. So uh, Lady Dice says, ooh, chills. Exactly, indeed, indeed. Yeah, so this is representative of, you know, what uh, Obama is going through, what we all are going through, but for you in particular. Uh, Spell crone, you got it. (laughs) You got it, the crone medicine, exactly. You're welcome, love. That's what I'm saying, crone, exactly. Uh, Rianne says, I've got one for you, uh, Nanari. Uh, The last week, every time I turn out the lights, yes... Continue. <laughs> As she's typing away, I know. <laughs> I see light when my eyes are closed. Oh, yes, evidently that is you waking up to the light. Um, the light essence of who you are. Uh, so that's awesome. David says, I'm walking backwards for Christmas. It's the only thing for me. <laughs> Very nice. I like that. Instead of I'm getting nothing for Christmas, you're walking backwards for Christmas. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, for you, Rianne, what that is, is um, you are coming into your light body. Um, and so what's happening is is that you're actually able to see the light regardless of whether you're physically seeing or spiritually seeing. In other words, if your eyes are closed, you're still able to see that essence and it's very, very bright. Um, so this is, this is uh, significant because as you come into your light body, now you will actually be able to see the light, okay, not just within you, but within all things and in all beings. And you're going to see it in a different way and it's going to come through in that bright essence um, and that's because that's who we are on the other side. So you really, you're really tapping into it. Hard to sleep, I know. It's because it's activated primarily in the third eye chakra. Um, so what you can do, and I found beneficial for me that I do occasionally, is if it really gets to be bothersome and you're having a really hard time sleeping, um, I can show you on video. I have a cloth here. Uh, you know, obviously you won't see it on audio, but I have a cloth here. It's a purple cloth, and I put it over my eyes. Uh, sometimes when I sleep. Uh, so that helps to, uh, you know, because you're covering your eye and your third eye, basically, you know, because it's going across your forehead as well. And so that can help dim that light a little bit for you so you'll be able to sleep better. 
<laughs> so uh, sometimes sometimes that helps, uh, you know, for me. Uh, Lady I said, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, exactly. I do it all the time. Yeah, absolutely. I tried doing uh, clap, clap, clap for the lights clapping off. No help. Yeah, clap on, clap off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> No, no it, it, here's the thing, um, and and it kind of goes back to something that happened between my former husband and I many years ago, um, when I kind of went through that phase too, where I received my initiation of my uh, third eye activation, where the light came on, like you're describing, I couldn't shut it off, and so he was also talking to me. My former husband was talking to me about you know who I am, also in in conjunction with it, and he basically had said to me, well you know, can't you just shut it off? And I looked at him and I said, you know, it's like asking me to stop breathing. I cannot do that. <laughs> you know, once it's turned on, you can't turn it off. It's not like a light switch, you know, it's it's on. You know, now there's varying degrees to it. And, you know, like you said, you can cover it up. You know, you could do this too with just your hand, right? Um, so, but you can never really turn it off. Once that light's on and you've activated that light, man, it's on. Totally. Okay. So it's never going to go off. Sorry, love. It may dim a little bit if you can, you know, put a cover over it or your hand over it, but it's not going to go out. Uh, Lady Dice says, I keep uh, a stuffed bunny on my head. No kidding. Well, hey, at that works. <laughs> that, that's awesome. Uh, David says, play that funky third eye, Batman. <laughs> Awesome, David. That's wonderful. I love it. You are hilarious. Yes, you are. Uh, the tunes, Daddy O, definitely, absolutely. We be jamming tonight, yeah? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Fred says, going up to the spirit in the sky. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Going up to the spirit in the sky. Absolutely. Totally, totally, totally. That's awesome. That is awesome. Absolutely. Uh, Lady Dice says, uh, I want to hear that song now, Spirit in the Sky. We'll see. Now you can. <laughs> you can go put it, go uh, YouTube it, right? And uh, there you go, right? <laughs> crank it up. Exactly. Rian says, crank it up. Definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. Because it's, it, it's time to uh, celebrate, right? We voted, we put in our votes, we voted for love, we voted for peace, we voted for joy, we voted for happiness, and so now we're gonna, we're gonna, we won, exactly, Lady Di. Love always wins. Love in the end always wins. Not that it's about a win or a lose, that's the thing, you know. Uh, oftentimes in win or lose we think someone has to lose in order to win. No, it's a win-win. Everybody wins. Everything wins, because it's all love. And David says, playing it now, can you hear it? <laughs> nice. Awesome. Lady Dice says, that gave me chills again, princess. Love always wins. Yes, love does, indeed. Chills of confirmation, eh? Uh, David says, when I die and I lay me down to rest, <laughs> that's it. I got a friend in his days. Yeah, you got it. Absolutely. Gonna go to that place that's the best. Absolutely, that place in the sky. Well, you know, there's um, a bit of truth to that, but, you know, that place in the sky is here. It's right here, right now. Heaven is here. You know, we have heaven on earth if we choose it. David says, later guys, gotta, gotta chase the Nazis. Cheers. All right. Cheers to you too, love. Wonderful to have you. Uh, Fred says, with the skylight. Absolutely. Light. LOL. See ya, David. Uh, Rian says, peace, love, and light. Bye bye. And all. Salute. Exactly. Love, light, and laughter. Exactly. Absolutely. Take care, David. Good to have you with us tonight. Um, but heaven, heaven is here, you know, heaven is here on this earth if we choose to embrace it and walk the path of love in each moment, um, you know, even when there are situations that are coming at us. Uh, lots of cute bunny rabbits that scurry about playfully until they explode, <laughs> David says. <laughs> nice. Explode in love, I hope. <laughs> explode in light. Walk the lighted path. Yeah, exactly. You know, sometimes that means taking a stand, uh, you know, for love. And, uh, you know, placing uh, 
a boundary up there that uh, you know you may not necessarily want to as I posted on my Facebook wall earlier tonight there are you know in an ideal world there are no boundaries because love really has no boundaries but uh, in humanness sometimes we need to take a stand for love and say yes to something rather than saying no uh, Fred says with pointy fangs. Uh oh, and Rianne says now, Fred. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, David says thanks so much. You've been a lovely audience. Good night, indeed. Good night, y'all. Love ya, indeed. Good night, uh, David. Wonderful to have you with us tonight. So, um, yes, I work. In the AM, oh, you do, you work in the AM, so you must leave also. Well, beautiful. Rianne says, have to go to love to all of you. Indeed. Uh, we'll make this uh, be the last call for the evening then. Is there anything else that anybody would like to share or ask or anything? We'll put this out as the last call. We'll leave it open. And uh, if not, uh, then uh, we will say adieu. Uh, in search of the Holy Grail. Blessings and love to you all, Lady Di says. Yes, have a great one to you too. Have a great one, Light. Have a great one, Lady Di. Love you, love you, indeed. Um, good night, Fred. Good night. Uh, and good night, Light. And we will be back on here, everyone, uh, next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific Time, 9 o'clock Central, and 10 o'clock East, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, for another meditational satsang uh, right here on our Ascension website. Uh, and uh, love and light to you all. Uh, Espavo.